What's up, YouTube? It's your boy T. Latry. You know, I'm just, you know, what's what's good, y'all? You know, um, I just want to uh, tell y'all, you know, word on the rap and word on the street is that some shit is about to go down. Some type of violence, man. And I just want my fellow gun-loving Americans and gun lovers all over the world and gun freaks, I want y'all to um, be ready. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I want y'all... <laughs> See, she making me laugh, y'all. <laughs> Just knowing that you here. First of all, word on the street and word on the rail is that some gun shit it's about to fucking happen, man. Like, they about to try to take our guns. They, they about to make it hard enough. I mean, they about to make it, try to make it hard for us to attain guns, to buy guns. And they just trying to fuck with us. And I'm sick and tired of the bullshit. I'm, I'm sick and tired. I'm, what I'm trying to say, people... I'm sick or tired of being sick and motherfucking tired. Now, I got a bone to pick with the ATF. ATF some dirty motherfuckers. They want to fuck with us. This is what I don't get. You got all these motherfucking criminals out here. You got all these motherfucking criminals that's committing all these motherfucking crimes, getting their guns illegally. Um... But you want to fuck with, man, I will fuck your ass up. I'm, I'm fuck. Listen, they want to fuck with us. We law abiding citizens. We, we, we pay for our guns, depending on what state you're in. We registered our guns here in Michigan. Anything under 16 inch a barrel that's under 16 inches is considered a gun. You got to get it registered. Rifles and shotguns, you don't. But pistols like handguns and 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 and, and like like my 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 new amp that I got, I had to register this because it's considered a a, a pistol because it's got less than you know 16 inch inches. And, and you know if I put a stock on it, it'd be you know I have to SBR. But fuck that shit. I'm not giving them no fucking you know 200 dollars. But <clears throat> What I'm saying is, this is a dirty motherfucker. I love this country, but it's won by some some dirty motherfuckers. And I'll tell you why I feel the way that I feel. You know, I salute Trump. You know, Trump was a crazy, crazy ass nigga like me. He was a crazy motherfucker like me. So, um, but the nigga wasn't trying to take away our guns and grandstanding, you know, saying we're going to take away your, your AR-15. And all that and shit. And I'm telling you, listen to me. Please, please listen to me. Listen to me. They want to take away our AR-15s and AR, uh, uh, AK-47s for a reason. If, if, if they try to... It's, 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 not a, it's, not, it's not a black or a white thing. It's an elite thing. It's a, it's a power thing. Them motherfuckers won't us to depend on them and they want control over us and the only way you can control a mass of people is if you disarm them i mean it's textbook look just look in the history book every people every group of people that was disarmed they felt like they could do whatever they want to them they got control then you know they got control over them people so my thing is um they want the they going after the AR15s and the AK47s first. You know why? Because those are the high powered weapons that can you know them the motherfuckers that would give them uh uh you know that uh, give them a good fight. You feel me even though they got machine guns, fully automatic, still an AR5 an AR15 and an AK47 are still you know, make them motherfuckers duck. It'll still put up a good fight. So that's the biggest threat. So they're going after them first. You feel me? 
So it ain't about a black thing or a white thing, man. It's about a power thing. You know, they want control. They want to, they're trying to control us. Word on the street is that, and on the web, is that some shit is about to happen, some type of violence. And I just want y'all to be fully, fully, fully prepared because I've seen the nastiness what the ATF can do. All you got to do is go back in time and look at Waco. Waco, Texas, the Branch Davidians. Now, they demonized that guy, assassinated his character. Me, I don't give a fuck what type of um, religion you practice. I don't judge anybody. You feel me? I don't judge anybody. No, he was allegedly fucking with some of the younger girls there doing that R. Kelly shit or whatever. But I don't know that for sure. And I know that the government is good at demonizing the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? They 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 good. When they don't like you no more, they will assassinate your motherfucking character, just like they did Saddam Hussein, who was once their motherfucking friend. And you see how they turned on him. And I don't want to hear all that shit. They fucked up Iraq and made it worse. And everybody know that shit. But what I'm trying to say is, um, ATF, they, they first of all, they could have caught my mans when he was all in, 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 you know, in, 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 the, in the city or in the town, you know, getting the supplies. They already had no, before, prior to the raid, from my understanding, the ATF had already uh, notified the media that they was going to do it because they was going to make an example out of him. And you see how they raided that? And I don't give a fuck what nobody say. They shot first. Allegedly, they shot the dogs at um, the other ATF agents heard the shots and they started shooting. But they, allegedly, one ATF agent shot the dog. But anyway, it go. They still shot first. And they said that they started that motherfucking fire to destroy the evidence. You know, I don't trust them. And uh, I just listen. I just want y'all to stay armed. It's about being righteous. It's about being having a good heart. It's about guns are not weapons of war. It's only a weapon of war if it's in a criminal's hand or a crazy motherfucker's hand. But when it's in a righteous brother's hand, a good guy hand, then it's a it's a weapon of love because this motherfucking weapon right here can save lives. Not only can it save your life, but it can save lives. Man, I'm in, I'm here in Detroit. I'm in the hood. So it's always some shit going down, man. On my app, on my citizen app, every day, I kid you not, it's a home invasion happening where where somebody breaking in and they raping the woman and they raping the man. You know what I'm saying? They doing all kind of kinky, freaky ass shit to them, man. How many times I cannot say this enough? Get a fucking gun. That would make all the difference in the world. Get you a gun. Get you a gun. Guns are not evil. Guns are heavenly. Guns are righteous. Guns are you are defending yourself from evil. Evil will come to you. You don't have to look for trouble. Trouble will look for you. Trouble will find you. So be prepared. I'm in Detroit. I saw the other day seven armed motherfuckers did a home invasion. You know what I'm saying? Do you really want for those, I'm speaking to you, for those who's on the fence that do not own um, a firearm, a gun, do you really want to put your life in the hands of a criminal? Do you really want to put your life in the hands of a criminal? Do you think they're going to break up in your house at 3, 4, 5 in the morning just to say hello to you? No, nah, they're going to do harm to you. They're going to rape you. They're going to, they're going to, listen, man, they said it take. I don't know. This this can't be true. Two minutes for the police to come. If you call 911, not here in Detroit. It take up to a motherfucking hour. Ain't that right, baby? Up to an hour, don't it? 
for the police to come. Oh, yeah, sometimes longer than that. Sometimes longer than that. So, uh, but just let's just play devil's advocate. Let's just say that it do take two minutes. Okay. So, is that two minutes, you know, a motherfucker can fuck you up in two minutes. A motherfucker can choke you to death in two minutes. A motherfucker can bash your motherfucking brains out with a with a pipe and and, and or a bat in two minutes. Would you want to put your life in somebody's hands for two minutes? Come on, man. Y'all arm up. And I don't trust, you know, um, Biden and uh, Kamara Harris. Them the two biggest motherfucker anti-gunners I have seen in my motherfucking lifetime. Them niggas will do anything and everything to to take away our guns, man. It's about some elite elite elitism shit. And what I don't appreciate and why I I say for both of them to suck my motherfucking dick is because who the fuck are you to tell me what's good for me? To tell me what type of gun I should have. They still falling back on that shit. All you need is a fucking shotgun. You don't need no fucking... What the fuck a shotgun gonna do if you got about seven or eight, ten niggas bomb washing your house? What the fuck that shotgun gonna do? And I'm not knocking a shotgun. Anything is better than... Um, anything is better than nothing. But if you can do better, then do better. <clears throat> but my thing is... Who the fuck are you... To tell me how to defend my family and defend my house, defend my life. Who the fuck are you? Because last time I checked, you got a fucking security detail that got motherfucking MP5s. You know what I'm saying? Hold on one second, man. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what the people got. I'm going to show you what they got. That's that's protecting the president right now. I'ma show y'all. I'ma show y'all. This is the type of shit that the um, Secret Service got. That's, take, uh, that's protecting bite. This is what they got right here. This is what they got. Fucking MP5s. Fucking MP5s. And this is the civilian version. You know, they got the fully automatic ones. You feel me? They got the fully automatic ones. So he being protected by motherfuckers that got AR-15s. You know, SIG. You know, MPXs. You know, you umps, you know what I'm saying? He got motherfuckers that's 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 being protected, you know, that's that that they got that type of firepower on them, but he gonna tell the average uh American citizen that they shouldn't have that, that they're not allowed to have a fucking AR-15. What kind of bullshit is that? What type of elitism is that shit to tell us what we allowed to have? Uh, uh, what you know? What you think is good for us and what we should be able to protect our family with? Motherfucker, I'm gonna protect my family with. I want the same shit that your Secret Service got. I want to be if five motherfuckers break up in my house. I want to be able to light into their asses. You want you you see what I'm saying? I want to be able to light they motherfucking asses up. So, what I'm trying to say is something ain't right, man. You got these um, bitch ass politicians. First of all, I don't trust no fucking polit politician. Trump was a Trump was a, a lot better than they funky asses, but I don't trust no. No politician, because a politician at the end of the day gonna tell you what all what they think they what they think uh you wanna hear. You know what I'm saying? That's all they gonna do. They'll do anything, sell their soul to get a motherfucking vote. I'm gonna give you a, a example. 
when Biden first uh, got in the race to run for president, a group of women had came forward and was accusing um, Joe Biden of, you know, grabbing their titties and, you know, rubbing on their pussies and, you know, ba basically uh, sexual sexual harassment. You know what Kamala ass did? Kamala was like, um, K Kamala was like, I believe the women. She came forward. She was like, I believe the women. And that's another thing that's fucked up. You know, these Me Too motherfuckers. You know, a woman can just make a, you know, just say you did anything and, and, and everybody gonna automatically believe them. And, and that bitch could be lying. But anyway, when the women, multiple women came forward saying that Biden uh, touched them inappropriately and was groping them and all that shit. And um, they was accusing him of sexual harassment. And Kamala Harris was like, I believe the women. So she believed the women up until he picked her to, <laughs> to, to run to be uh, VP, vice president. And she was like, fuck y'all bitches. I'm about to be. That's how motherfucking politicians are. They're not to be trusted. And it's a reason why them dirty, stinking, rotten, power-hungry motherfuckers is trying to take away our guns. Specific, specifically, the, 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 the AR-15. You know, because this is the only motherfucker right here that can give them some problems if they try to, that bullshit, that takeover shit. This right here, I call it the freedom fighter. You know what I'm saying? This will stand up to their motherfucking asses versus, you know, they want a motherfucker to have a uh uh they want a motherfucker to have a shotgun. They want a motherfucker to have a shotgun or or a regular handgun. You know what I'm saying? That you 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 ain't gonna stand a chance against a motherfucking army. You ain't gonna stand a chance against a motherfucking uh uh you know national guard. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to stand a, stand a chance with that shit. But you just may have a fighting chance with this or AK. And that's why they at the top of the list, man. And like I say, man, oh, you know, everybody like, oh, they just trying to they just trying to get rid of the braces or they just trying to ban. They just trying to ban the braces and um, they just trying to do this or whatever. No, listen. The, the second that them motherfuckers, if, the, if they get away with them braces, which look like they're getting ready to do it, you got to look at it like this. That's just the start of it. What's next? You get them motherfuckers an inch, them motherfuckers going to take a mile. You hear me? Next thing you know, they're going to be making it. Man, look what happened to uh, uh, Australia back in the day. Look what happened to Venice, uh, um, was it Venezuela, Brazil, or, or, or Venezuela when they when they took their guns, man. Shit got all fucked up. Shit got all fucked up, man. Listen, stack up on your canned goods, your water, stack up on your ammo, because cause a gun ain't shit if it ain't got no bullets to shoot in that motherfucker. And be able to take, be able to take care of and defend your life and defend your family. They they count on it. Don't don't count on the government. Don't count on the no police. Count on yourself. You know, count on yourself, man. Because you know, not only it's so fucked up in the world today, man, in this country. Because not only do we gotta deal with the motherfucking criminals, but we gotta deal with um. You know, we got to deal with the government, the tyranny of the government trying to take our guns. And I'm thinking, like, they got to be like, come on, man, we supposed to, you, you trying to disarm us so we can be victims of criminals? And that way, you know, I can see Biden, yeah, man, you know, give up your guns. You know, uh, the crime going to go down. But in our, in our actuality, the the, the, the the crime is going to go up because the criminals going to have a field day. They not going to give up their guns. But we going to be the, at the burden and at the mercy of the criminals. And you know what? Biden might even be like, well, give me more power and I can I can get with them. The more power that motherfucker get, man, please don't let the uh, Democrats take the Senate because they'll be able to pass whatever bill they fucking want, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to be ready to take a motherfucker out. And I, I say, man, I'm tired. 
I'm tired. We got we got to stop pussyfooting around and put these motherfucking guns to use if need be. It's either them or us, and it can't be us. Cause if it's us, then man, I listen. I, I'll tell you this, man. I'd rather be dead, sleeping in my motherfucking grave, six feet deep, before I be a slave to the system. You hear me? I fight to the death. I, and I ain't on no bullshit. Stop all that pussy footing around and stand your motherfucking ground. I'm going to say that again. Stop all that motherfucking pussy footing around and stand your motherfucking ground. Keep your motherfucking gun, man. I know a situation. I know somebody hooked up with a woman. The nigga must have been pussy ripped or uh, what they call that baby? Pussy ripped. Um, uh, pussy, pussy rip. Um, what you call that? Put a voodoo on him or whatever. But anyway, the nigga gave up his guns for his woman because the nigga wanted to move in his liberal woman's house. And by her being a Christian, and I'm not. This is not an attack because I know plenty of Christians got got more guns than me and blow a motherfucker away. But this particular woman didn't believe in guns, so he sold his guns. She was like, you got to get rid of your guns if you want to move up in, uh, if you want to move up in my house, you got to get rid of your guns. And this, this old sorry, I mean, this old nigga did it. This sorry ass nigga did it like a fool. You know what I'm saying? He gave up his guns. He sold his guns to move in. Oh, I'm so in love, but really he was just pussy whip. You know what I'm saying? Not a motherfucking week passed by and a home invasion happened on they motherfucking asses. She got raped and he got raped too and he needed that shit. He needed, he needed to be butt fucked because for the simple fact you gave up your guns, motherfucker. And if you would have had your guns, you could have fought them animals back. You could have fought them niggas back that broke in your motherfucking house. You could have fought they asses back. You could have shot back. You shit. The shit pisses me the fuck off these fucking, fucking ass criminals out here. Let a motherfucker try to break up in my motherfucking house. This is a 40, this is a H and K, uh, um, a, listen, this is a H and K, um, U, uh, UMP, uh, the shoot 45. Let a motherfucker try to try me. Come up in here and try to attack my woman, my queen. I'm the king of this motherfucking castle and she the queen. And by me being the king, I'm going to make sure nobody is going to come up and try to dethrone me. I'm going to be ready for their motherfucking asses. But like I say, man, I got my, my spidey sensors. My spidey senses tell me that something is about to happen, man. You know, we got all these motherfucking, you know, the coolie tie that overthrew Trump from all that shit was rigged, man. I'm going to tell y'all something right now. They've been trying to get rid of Trump ever since the nigga stepped foot in office, man. They said he uh, uh, collaborated or whatever the fuck it is with the Russians. And they investigated that shit. That shit came back, uh, you know, cleared him up. Then they tried to do some more shit, saying he uh, was trying to talk to the uh, Ukrainians or wh whoever the fuck it was over there. So, you know, they, 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 tried, they tried that. They impeached the nigga. Then all this COVID shit, and I, I, I'm not knocking COVID. I, I, don't, I, I know plenty of people that don't pass for COVID and all that as well, but... They you they put they put um politicized that shit, man. They politicize that. You know what I'm saying? It's just something ain't right about these motherfucking election with dead people. How a fucking dead person gonna vote? And how you gonna be able to vote twice and all that shit, man? You know what I'm saying? And I'm in Detroit, so I know them niggas. They threw Trump shit away. I know that shit, man. There's plenty of niggas that vote for Trump. Plenty of niggas love their guns. And um you know, we just got to get it together and not take their motherfucking shit, man. 
Ain't this how this country got uh, founded in the first motherfucking place for independence? Come on now. So I got my motherfucking PTR, MP5. I got my ump. I got my motherfucking ump right here. Y'all be the fuck ready. You hear me? I love every single... Oh, I love every single one of y'all. You feel me? Every single one of y'all I love. I really do. It means the world to me. But you know what me? You know what uh, makes me really happy? is when I know that y'all are and y'all are able to not be a victim. You know what I'm saying? When you got a gun, you are no longer a victim. You know what I'm saying? And don't just get a motherfucking gun. I said this many times before. Get a gun. Be comfortable with that gun. Learn that motherfucking gun. Go to the gun range. Learn how to break that gun down. Learn how to clean that gun. That gun is essentially a part of you. That's the way you got to see it. And a motherfucker come in your house blow his motherfucking brains out. Because guess what? If you don't blow their brains out, they're going to blow your brains out. They're going to they're gonna blow your woman's brains out. They're going to blow your kids' brains out. Yes! That's the reality of life. You got these motherfuckers out here that don't give a fuck about you. They want to... It's evil, man. It's the righteousness versus the evil of the world. And the only way you're going to be able to fight back is fire with fire, baby. Fuck all that shit, man. You know, fuck all that. I'm glad some of you Christians out there is coming around. Y'all saying how, you know, y'all been getting shot all up in these churches and shit. And now you're like, you know what? Maybe it ain't a, uh, such a bad idea to bring a gun up in the church. But then you still got some of you idiots out there that really do think that God is uh, magically going to just stop the person from blowing your brains out or stop the person from doing harm to you or raping you. No, man. All I got to do is take you back to 2015 up in North Carolina when that right racist went in that black church. Them niggas was up in there praying all to, be, all to God, all to glory. But not one time did God stop them bullets from penetrating their body. You know what I'm saying? I met people that be like, oh, I'm covered in the, in the, in the, in the uh, blood of Jesus. Shit, like hell, nigga. You're going to be covered in your own motherfucking blood if you think that that's going to save you. Come on, man. Snap, snap out of that shit. Rake the fuck up. Rake the fuck up and get you a motherfucking gun. It's two things you do need. Hey, man. You need God. G-O-D, you need God, and you need you need G-U-N. You need gun. God put the wisdom in your head to arm yourself so you can protect yourself. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all get on y'all motherfucking feet and be ready to die. Stand on your shit, man. I'm ready to die. I'm ready to put together a fucking gun freak nation, an army, a gun freak, a, a, a motherfucking army. <laughs> Listen, I'm ready to put the put together a motherfucking army of freaks, an army, a motherfucking army of gun freaks. You hear me? And don't you ever, ever get pussy ripped to the point uh, where you're going to give up your guns for some pussy. The nigga, if something do happen, you deserve that shit. That's the way I feel. Arm up and stay motherfucking armed, man. Stay fucking armed. I'm sick and tired of hearing about this shit, man. Rapes and shit. Women getting raped and shit. Y'all get y'all motherfucking guns and blow their motherfucking dicks off. Shoot them motherfuckers in their nuts. Blow their fucking nuts off. Blow their fucking dick off. Don't even let them niggas get up on you. You know what I'm saying? That's for all you women out there 
Y'all handle y'all business. Get y'all guns. Blow a nigga away. And when I say nigga, I'm talking about black, right, and everything in between. My dick is hard. Because every time I'm around these motherfucking guns, my dick is, is this long and actually kidding? long. <laughs> huh? Actually longer than this right here. Because these are some sexy ass guns, but they're not as sexy as you, babe. They're not as sexy, sexy as you. I'm going to pop my motherfucking pill later tonight, and we going to wake this motherfucking entire house up tonight, okay? But I'm going to have my motherfucking gun while I'm fucking right on the side. So Cheers. if... So Cheers. If the, Cheers. So if a motherfucker break in... I'm going to be butt booty naked, but I'm going to be armed to the motherfucking teeth. And I'm going to blow their motherfucking heads off. I'm going to blow their motherfucking heads off. See, that's a car alarm going off right now. Probably niggas out there trying to steal it. But man, do what you got to do. Arm yourself. Get you some Vienna sausages, some, um, what's that shit, baby? What's that shit? The noodles. Get you some Ra Ramon, Raymond, or whatever the fuck you call it. Get you some Ramon noodles, Raymond noodles. Get you some Vienna sausages. Get you some rice. Get you some beans. You know what I'm saying? Get you some water. But some shit just might be ready to go the fuck down. You feel me? And I want y'all, who the fuck is just messaging me? That's the same. I don't, man. Hey, protect you and your and your loved ones at all motherfucking times, man. And buy that motherfucking Gun Freak album. I'm going to put the link in the description. Damn, I should have had the motherfucking music playing in the background. Anyway, Gun Freak. 10 beats, $10. Cash at me for that motherfucker, or I'm going to put the link up. You dirty motherfuckers at Distro Kids still ain't put my shit on Amazon. And I put that, I put, I released that album November the 6th, and it still ain't on no motherfucking Amazon, man. Everybody don't have a fucking iPhone. It's on Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, Media, whatever the fuck, iHeartRadio, all that bullshit, man. I'm not fucking with Distro Kid no more. I'll get my own motherfucking website. Uh, 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 May. But anyway, I salute every single one of y'all. You know, I got the ump right here. Look at this motherfucking ump. I got that motherfucking ump. I got the ump right here. And I got the PTR. And, um, uh, the gun collection video, part six. If I'm at five or six, I think it's, I'll be at six. It's coming soon, y'all. And buy that motherfucking gun freak. Support the cause. And like I say, Anybody that step on y'all motherfucking toes, man, coming up, breaking in your motherfucking house, man, send their motherfucking ass out on a, in a fucking body bag. You feel me? Because it's either going to be you in that body bag or them. So get